have a very cool demo coming up, and um, and and that is um, <laughs> that <laughs> that is Sasha Clement, Clement, who is the founder and the managing director of Gestigon. Develops software for gesture recognition to control natural user interfaces. And personally, I believe that the Internet of the Things will only happen together with natural user interfaces. Because when you have thousands of gadgets around you, you need an intuitive, a natural way to control all of them. And in the last two years, there has been a tremendous development in the field of 3D sensors, 3D depth sensors. Um, and they are widely regarded as necessary for intuitive gesture control. So starting with the Kinect two years ago, there is now a variety of sensors available that, can you, you, that you can use for controlling all sorts of devices. And they are getting smaller and smaller and cheaper and cheaper every day, but we observe that there is sort of a software or middleware gap. So you have the sensors on the one side, and you have people that think about many different applications on the other side. So there's home entertainment. You maybe want to control your TV with gestures. There are infotainment systems in your car yet that you might, might want to control. And there are even medical applications where you can use gestures to control them. Um, however, there is no standard yet. There's no standard gesture dictionary you can use everywhere. Across countries, there are different cultures. Um, the gesture the gestures you use are different everywhere. And the problem is that all softwares that are available today, they only have a very fixed set of gestures included. So you only have pointing or swiping gestures today, and you cannot model all degrees of freedom that you have with your hands. And so what we at Gestic can do, we aim to model all these degrees of freedom that you have with your hands. And the demo I brought to you today should show you exactly that. So as soon as I enter the field of view of the camera, um, my hand is tracked with all its degrees of freedom. So but get that, let's get more into detail. So what I have here is a depth sensor, a PMD technology, Scamboard Nano, which is a time of flight based depth sensor. We could have used any other sort of depth sensor here. So for example, the Kinect or the uh, Intel or Creative Gesture Cam. So the only thing we need is depth information, so 3D depth information. And then what the camera does, it analyzes each and every frame. And what you see on the screen is in the background, the orange dots are the raw data, and then in front, um, the skeleton extracted from the data. And what we have here is a skeleton with about 40 nodes to model all degrees of freedom of your hand. If we have the same software for the full body tracking, of course, then the number of nodes is slightly different and the topology as well. Um, but the software is independent of the topology we, we use in practice. And of course, we could do this also for more than one hand. The only limitation here is the field of view of the camera. So this is a near field camera that works from about 10 centimeters to, let's say, one meter. Um, but there are other cameras that work in the far range, um, and uh, all of them, as they provide uh, the resolution we need for finger tracking, can be used for such an application. So you can do, for example, swiping gestures with this. You can point. You um, can do it with both hands. And even when I shake a little bit, the model stays pretty, pretty stable. Yeah, it runs pretty smooth. OK. And it is completely independent in which direction you enter uh, the field of view of the camera. And you can very quickly change between entering the active range and going far away from it. And now, what can, you do, what can we do with that? Um, 
So application developers put their application on top of this middleware and can define their natural user interface with that. And this is what we're currently looking for. We're looking for partnerships um, with partners that can incorporate this software into mass market devices, for example, smartphones, tablets, desktop PCs, or any other device um, you can control with, with gestures. And um, I know that among you, there will be somebody who really wants to use that, and some of the partners will be among you. So I hope we can talk afterwards about uh, possible partnerships there. So thank you.